Hello everybody and welcome back to more Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. We're going to start off our first world in year two and we're going to be going to Goblin Wall today so we're just going to go on ahead and get started. The threat of monsters weighs upon the mind of every traveler. Brave Liltes purged the roads of danger long ago, but monsters still lurk about, biding their time in the nooks and crannies of the world. Goblin Wall is one such place. As they say, wherever there is light, there is shadow. I wonder if we will ever be rid of their menace. Alrighty, so... Goblin Wall, because it is called Goblin Wall, there are tons of goblins. You can see one in the background there, but we are going to be seeing some enemies new and old, so I will put the bios for them right here for you guys to see what we're going to be running into. <laughs> So it should be pretty exciting. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Goblin Wall. It has a lot of treasure, a lot of treasure to pick up. Um, enemies are fairly easy, but um, the layout is very annoying. So without any further ado, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Um, just gonna take my time. I should be able to finish this world like no problem because it is so short, but because you have to like, you have to like get the treasure. Um, and then you have to like walk to go and get it and stuff like that. It's very annoying. I'll show you what I mean. Um, as you can see right here, there's chests, but you can't actually get to them. So you have to actually hit the switch, walk back, and then grab them, which is super annoying. Um, when you first come into Goblin Wall, you can actually come to the right here and you can come over here and you can take a shortcut. I know it's incredibly dark. I'm going to try my best to see if it'll show up on the recording, but right by this bat, if you keep going north, there's actually a cave. And all it serves right now is a place to change our element. Uh, we can't really do much else right now. As you can see, this is another case where the little uh, gate is closed and you can't get through. So this serves as a shortcut later. I thought I would show this off right now though, uh, for when we do make the shortcut so people aren't confused. Um, but right now we're not gonna really worry about changing our, our element or anything like that, and we're just gonna go back to the main room. Alrighty. So let's just keep going here. Carrying on to the left. And you'll see like a big slope with lots of goblins. Um, the thing that's kind of annoying about this world is that the monsters are pretty easy to defeat. I mean, we've seen some goblins before, and they haven't really changed much uh, in this cycle than they than they were last cycle. But you do see some new enemies that can be very very annoying, and they kind of they kind of come in mobs, which is kind of annoying. Um, but they're also really pretty fast in my opinion, so you just gotta watch out. So now what you do when you see these little glowing skulls is you hit them with your weapon and that is what you have to do to open up all of these little cages in this area. And this is what makes Goblin Wall such a pain in the ass uh, because you always have to hit the switch and then you have to run down the hill to grab the chest and then you have to run back up the hill. And it is just, it is just the most annoying thing. So. Just get used to doing a lot of walking in this area because you're, you're going to be doing a lot of it. Um, if you, uh, that, that is, of course, if you want all the treasure, you don't have to get it all. 
But out of all the worlds we've been in so far, I would say Goblin Wall probably has the most amount of treasure out of all of them, so... Again, more treasure. Like, this map is pretty much the same uh, everywhere, so there's not much to say about this this map because it's exactly the same. It's basically dark, uh, climbing up hills, hitting cages to get the uh, item inside the switch, and that is about it. So, um, not like I said, not a very exciting map. Uh, definitely not very exciting because it's extremely dark. But um, I feel that for just starting out in year two, I feel it's a pretty good world. Uh, they have a good mix of stuff. Uh, they get you to start using a bit of strategy with some enemies and things like that, so it's not too bad. Uh, my attack power is really, really high right now. Uh, this year I'm definitely going to work on magic. Because magic um, it, like gradually becomes more and more useful. You probably use magic towards the end of the game more than the more than anything else to defeat some really powerful bosses and things like that so uh it is pretty useful let's go ahead and defeat all these uh flans and bats and stuff like that uh with these bats you can go ahead and you can hit them with gravity spells uh but they're kind of like the um the enemies we saw uh the airmons in the mushroom force uh they're weak enough that you can actually hit them with a regular weapon and it's not really a big deal um so i wouldn't waste my time because these bats will go down in about three hits and I think this is the top of this area, so we just go ahead and hit that one, and then we can climb down and grab the other two treasures. But uh, the good thing about this place is it is also short. I guess I didn't really mention that. It's a relatively short area, so hopefully we'll be able to finish the dungeon in one video, and we'll actually be able to go on ahead and do the boss in another here. Um, through here is a little bit of a shortcut, but if you kind of just grind against the wall here, there is a Moogle home here. Ah, uh, where is it? I just saw it. There it is. Let's jump in the Moogle hole here before we continue on. And let us get our stamp from our little Moogle friend here. Let's see what he's gonna give us. Oh, another new stamp. Awesome. Okay, that's about it for that. Again, uh, it's not really all that necessary to paint Mog, so I'm not gonna bother. And I apparently forgot to hit the switch above, so I'll just go do that. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do that. I went ahead and hit that switch to create a shortcut, which really isn't really any anything of a shortcut. I really didn't even need to hit that switch, because as you can see, it doesn't bring you anywhere new. It basically just brings you to the same place, which is really strange. I don't know why they did that, it's just to throw the player off, I guess. You'll have to forgive me, I actually did my practice run of this area yesterday, and I was just way too tired to record it, so I didn't end up doing that. Uh, just keep going on to the right once you've collected all the treasures to the left. Uh, you can see that we can also change our element to Earth if we want to. We're not going to do that. Uh, if we need to change our element, we can go ahead and we can do it when we, when we leave the world. I think we need Earth to get through the stream. I'll have to recheck, but I think it's Earth. And continuing on to the right, just hitting more switches as we go. And more bats. It's funny because I was playing a game earlier and I turned down the brightness on my TV because it was too bright. But like for this game, now that I turned it back down, it is so dark and I just, I can't see a thing right now. So that definitely makes it a little bit more challenging. Go ahead and hit this guy. And again, uh, goblins are not very good against fire, so if you have fire spells, go ahead and use fire against the goblins. Um, I won't be able to get this chest until a later date. Um, I think you have to. I think you actually have to come back here in another cycle, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think you can actually get that chest uh, for quite a while. Uh, there are some areas in here that you can't actually do until later, so uh, that would be one of them. If we hit this down here. Uh, we can get a chest down in, at the very very bottom of this room where we first came in We're gonna go get that later because I don't feel like walking all the way down there. So 
Uh, if we go through this one, this will actually take us to another part of the dungeon, the second part of it. Alright, so this is our kind of like second part of Goblin Wall. On the left hand side here is actually uh, the room that connects us to the first shortcut I showed you in the very beginning of the video. We went through the area and it had that fire uh, element changer. This is actually the upper area of that area. So Goblin Walls are all kind of interconnected. So like I said, we're going to unlock that shortcut later. I'm not going to worry too much about that right now. I wish I had more exciting things to say about this dungeon, but I really don't. Uh, the flans can give you like slow status, as you can see they, they put slow on me, which really isn't a big deal. Uh, if anything, if you're surrounded by a bunch of enemies, I would basically just let the flan hit you. Uh, if you're in danger of getting hit by like another spell and you have to choose one to dodge, uh, because it doesn't have that much of an effect and it doesn't even last for that long, which is also really good. So. That guy uh, kind of snuck up on me. These are the electric, I think they're electric jellyfish. These guys are extremely annoying. Uh, if they hit you, uh, you will be like paralyzed for a second and you can't hit them with your weapon. Uh, your best move is to use blizzard on them because you'll freeze them. It does good damage and while they're frozen, uh, you can cast a second spell on them and actually kill them instantly and they won't be able to get like any hits on you or anything so that's probably the best move for those guys go ahead and hit all these switches of course we're gonna have to climb back down there to see what, what's in all of them so just go ahead and do that kill all these goblins that are annoying and in my way there we go and there's something up above trying to hit me that's nice I'm just going to ignore you for now. And we're going to climb down and we're going to get our treasure. This area would be a lot shorter if you didn't have to do all of this stuff. But I guess just because they made it so short, they I guess they kind of just had to, to do something to make it longer. Uh, freeze you. And kill you. Oh, no. Never mind. Pretty fast. Well, not fast enough. As you can see, we're getting lots of good drops and stuff like that too, so this is a really good thing. Uh, these two blue switches with the blue eyes uh, will actually allow us to go back to that first room. That first sh shortcut I showed you, that's the, uh, that's the shortcut you have to unlock. It was locked before, so that's how you do that. And it's actually a shortcut we're gonna have to use. Fancy that. I don't use many shortcuts most of the time. I'm gonna get rid of this goblin mage first, because he's just annoying. Get out, get out of my way. Alright. We're gonna quickly take this shortcut because as we as we remember, there was a chest that we or uh, we opened the cage to get to a chest, but we didn't actually open it. So as you can see, this takes us back here, so. Going back to this first room, the, the chest that we uh, got unlocked was over here, so let's open that up and go back to where we were using that handy shortcut. And this dungeon is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would, uh, which is kind of annoying because I don't want to stop recording just because I feel like stopping in the middle of an area is really confusing to people and I don't want to do that to you guys. So we might just make it a longer video. Um, I guess I should have really mentioned like at the start of the LP that these episodes are probably going to be a lot longer. Um, some of them might be 20-25 minutes uh, just because like I said I want to make um, all the worlds in one video and some of these worlds are long. Um, so you just got to kind of deal with that as it comes. I guess uh, when I do when I do like practice runs and stuff like that I'll decide uh, when to stop it. Uh, this rock like thing of rocks here we can get into later years so uh, it's another part of the dungeon that's kind of uh, unavailable to us if you see those rocks around here don't be like confused or think you have to do something about them it's just one of those things where you have to come back at a later cycle for it to be changed as you can see it's the same thing over here on this wall and if we go to the north of this area as you can see like because I can't see anything I keep running into walls Ugh, Mog, this isn't the time to be tired. If we 
can not navigate our way around here. Go through this little area again. And if we go to the north instead of going to the south to take that shortcut, we should be able to actually get to the uh, last area of this place. Let's see here. Here we go. All the way up this hill here is kind of the northern part of it. Let's get a blizzard spell on this guy while I can. There we go. And another. Excellent. There we go. As you can see, there's our little uh, kind of boss door area. So we have to defeat all these goblins. And we have to find out which one has the... Uh, the key. I'm pretty sure it's the big one, but we'll see. I was trying to use focus attacks and I realized I still had it on Blizzard. That was really smart of me. I should actually put fire for this next area. As you can see, these guys are just like bum rushing me, so I'm just trying to kind of uh, out, out speed them, I suppose. Um, and just try to get a hit in, run away, get a hit in, run away. Uh, it's kind of a cowardly thing. It takes a lot longer. Um, but you'll spend a lot of time just taking a lot of damage that's very unnecessary if you just kind of stick around and try to take on the whole mob at once. And don't forget that you do have items, which um, I haven't used, actually. I haven't used any of my food. So I'm going to use an apple, because my character likes apples. I'm just going to go ahead and eat that, restore a little bit of health. Uh, it's a bit quicker than having to go through and actually uh, like use a healing spell if I'm in a hurry. You know, I don't want to get hurt. That really helps. Um, and then the and then it moves too, so I can't actually hit it. There we go. So you gotta be kind of quick, which is what I don't like about spells. This is just like you, you're in the middle of casting a spell, and then the enemy moves, and it just makes your life more difficult than it has to be. But I think that's about it for this mob. It's pretty much cleared out. And if we just go ahead and hit our last few switches here, that is pretty much the end of Goblin Wall. And yeah, that looks like to that looks to me like it is the end. We're just gonna hit those switches, go grab those treasures, uh, kill these guys really quick, and uh, then we'll save the boss battle for the next video. If these, this jellyfish, thank you, would go away. That would be very very helpful. Because these goblins can be taken down very, very easily. There we go. Right, I saw a chest here, so let's grab that. And that is it. We're just going to go downstairs, uh, grab our last little bit of treasures, and we should be able to get this video done in a little bit under 20 minutes. So, um, not, not the timing I was hoping for, but... Um, I guess I wasn't as prepared for this video as I thought I was going to be, you know, like you saw me running into walls and stuff like that, which I normally don't do, you guys know that. Um, it was darker now that I turned down my TV settings, which I should not have done uh, on all that jazz, so that's okay, you gotta have, you gotta have a bad video here and there. Uh, I hope I was able to explain this video to everybody alright, I mean, it's not, there's not much to this place, so. Um, I think that is it. Yes, it is. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of leave off here because all I'm going to do is walk back up the hill to that point where the boss is. Um, and in the next video, we will be taking on the boss of Goblin Wall. We'll finish up this place and we will collect our first drop for our first dungeon in the second year. So thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.